Hello and welcome to another edition of Men Are So Smart. I'm Lou Gallagher. And Corvette Ronnie. If you read my blog, uh, not a couple, maybe a couple weeks ago. And I know he has. I know. I've read it. It was about tattoos and where I stand on tattoos. And I could sum it up for you, but I'll link it to this video so that you can read it for yourself. But here's what I'm, I'm telling you. With tattoos, for me, it's always been a deal breaker. And I think first and foremost, the reason is because it seems kind of unhealthy. What about my tramp stamp? You're not a fan? Well, it doesn't even say my name. <laughs> okay. And who is a tramp stamp for, by the way? Not for the person who has it, because they can't see that unless they're in a mirror, and then on God knows I don't, I don't want it. I don't want to know. So my point is this: tattoos, in and of themselves, in my humble opinion, are unhealthy, unsanitary. Here's a story to further illustrate my dang point. A 30, okay, a 31-year-old man died. I mean, it doesn't get much worse than that, unless you could die twice. He died after reportedly ignoring warning signs about swimming. After getting a new tattoo, he contracted a flesh-eating bacteria infection in the Gulf of Mexico. The unidentified man, whose case was detailed in the British Medical Journal, had gotten a tat on his right calf five days prior to swimming. Uh, and he had chosen a very tasteful crucifix and some praying hands for his uh, latest ink and began suffering from fever, chills, and a rash in the tattoo year right after swimming. Uh, he reportedly developed sepsis. Uh oh, that's dangerous. That's bad right there. In his right calf, which then turned purple. And by the time he was admitted to the hospital, uh, two weeks later, he was placed on life support. Oh his condition God. further deteriorated, his kidneys failed, and according to Metro doctors, uh, probably his uh, years of alcohol abuse didn't help him any. Yeah, they say he made him susceptible to vibriosis infection and septic shock. While the man's nationality was not identified, vibriosis caused an estimated 80,000 illnesses and 100 deaths in the U.S. each year, according to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, uh, patients become infected by consuming raw or undercooked seafood or by being exposed and having a, a wound in seawater. I don't know that any water in Mexico I would consider safe, especially if you have an open wound, like a fresh tattoo. Uh, but people go on vacation and get tattoos to, yeah. to remember their trip. Well, you drink bottled water only in, in there, and so unless you're swimming in a pool of bottled water, it's just, yeah, it's not safe. Sorry. The Sea of Evian. How about this story? You know, if you know me, and I know I do, I... I'm not a touchy-feely guy, okay? I don't like, I, I'll shake hands, but I, I pray to dear God, baby Jesus, that your hands are clean, okay? I bank on that, and sometimes I'm only fooling myself. And I'm not alone. Jerry Seinfeld sets the record straight on his awkward Kesha encounter. It's all good between them, he says. The comic talked to extras A.J. Calloway on Thursday about his awkward exchange with the singer in which he denied her a hug. She went in for the hug, she recognized him, and she went in, and a video of the encounter made headlines and went viral earlier this week. As Seinfeld said that it's not personal, he simply doesn't hug strangers. When you get to be my age, you've done a couple things and you have your own reality. In my reality, I don't find, I don't hug a total stranger. Yeah. I have to meet someone, say hello, get a start somewhere. 
The pair ran into each other on the same red carpet Monday when Kesha approached Seinfeld, expressed her fandom, and asked for a hug. The star denied her three times. <laughs> Even stepped away from her when she tried to touch him. Uh, Seinfeld told Extra he was thrown off a little bit as he was in the middle of an interview and when Kesha approached him. I'm 63. I don't know every pop star. He didn't know who she was. I don't know her either. I don't either. Yeah, never heard of her. Uh, I thought she was the Cash Me Outside girl. <laughs> How about that? How about that? But he goes on to say, hug is not the first moment of a human-to-human -human contact. Never did that. He said he talked to the singer later at the event, and they laughed about the whole thing. Oh, ha, 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 bitch. Yeah. <laughs> For the record, Seinfeld said Kesha still didn't get a hug. Kesha. Ronnie, Ronnie, do you ever have moments where people make you uncomfortable? I'll give you, for instance, I know this guy who likes to get really close to your face when you're in a conversation, and it's like, uh, dude. That is a Seinfeld episode. Oh, that's right. It took the close talker. Yes. I do not like a close talker. No one does. I like my a little barrier, a little personal space. And if you're in my personal space, you will see me step back and then possibly see him step forward and then see me step back again. <laughs> Uh, it's, I, I, I am, I am a big fan of my personal space. Sometimes, sometimes a fan of the radio show will come out to meet me at an event and witness this and they can be a little aggressive and you want to be welcoming and warm, but I had this one guy almost literally back me into a corner of a wall in a supermarket. It's like, Did he recognize your voice? <laughs> I'm not sure. And, uh, I, no, I was doing an event there, you know, oh, it's, okay. come meet Sweet Lou at blah, blah, blah. Right, 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 right. And so he, he came out to meet me and, and I love that. I really do. But please don't get up all in my face. <laughs> you know, and wash your hands, please. It's good common courtesy. Yeah, brush your teeth. Yeah, yeah. A little mouthwash doesn't hurt. Stay so, off the onions and the garlic. Heretofore, is, I think I'm proclamating. <laughs> it sounds like it. Heretofore, I don't know what that means, but it's official now. Uh, it, no more close talking. Yeah. Okay, please. No more close talking in general. Keep your distance. And, and, you know what? Hugs are special. Kind of like sprinkles. Oh, sprinkles are for winners. They are. So are hugs. <laughs> I kind of reserve the right to refuse service. I, you know what? I'm a bit of a hugger, so I will. No! I will hug. If you hug me, I swear to God, I'm going to push you down. Yeah, you know, we're going to hug one out after No, we're not hugging at all. No, no, we're not going to hug. Leave me alone. All right, that concludes another edition of Better So Smart. Our banner is about to blow away. A little breeze coming up here. We can get through this. I know we can. Maybe we should hug. You can't get up around Dave. You can't even get up. Men are so smart. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.